When a vocal cord mass such as a cyst, polyp, or cancer-like growth is discovered during the evaluation of a hoarse voice complaint, the decision to completely remove the mass may be made at some point. Given how tiny such vocal cord masses are, how are they removed? In order to safely and precisely remove the vocal cord mass to ultimately achieve a voice that is normal without any raspiness, this excisional procedure is performed under general anesthesia. After intubation, a mouth guard is placed to protect the upper teeth from chipping or cracking. The head is placed into a hyperextended position. Tape is used to apply consistent pressure against the cricoid cartilage to allow a straight shot view of the mass from the mouth after instrument placement. A special instrument called a direct laryngoscope is then used to visualize the vocal cord mass and placed in suspension. Because the mass is so small, a microscope is used by the surgeon to obtain a magnified view of the vocal cord mass. Through this instrument, a triangle forcep is inserted down to where the mass is located and grasped. Tiny scissors are then used to cut the mass from the underlying vocal cord tissues. The mass is then removed from the throat and sent to pathology where it will be processed to evaluate under the microscope and provide a definitive diagnosis of the mass. Depending on the situation, a laser may be used to excise or ablate the vocal cord mass. Once the, the procedure has been completed, all instruments are removed. The mouth guard is removed and the patient allowed to awaken and extubated. Biopsy results are typically obtained within a week, but sometimes can take longer if special stains are required. The patient is often placed on voice rest for a period of time after surgery to allow proper healing. Working with a voice therapist both before and after surgery optimizes a normal vocal quality outcome.